my beautiful Aries, welcome to your next six month energies. Six months from now, or from the time you view Laos, or let's say as we speak now by the end of the year. Whatever interval you are, welcome. And let's see how this time period is treating you or how the messages are coming through. I do record these readings mid-May 2023. But let's see what we have for you for the next six months. And of course where all these energies send us or goes with us with. We have a Four of Cups. We have an Eight of Swords. We have a Five of Wands. And definitely Hierophant, which is a major arcana. Taurus energy here. For some of you, my deal here with the Taurus. But for many, many of you, over this six month or as we speak by the end of the year there is certain lessons you will learn i feel here will not be easy lessons for many many of you aries these lessons could be regards love or could be regards whatever you feel about yourself and for others or regards other people or people in your life. Quite a lot of energy that I'm picking up here. Many of you, you, you need to learn to ground yourself more. Others of you to actually learn the word no. And with that to raise your vibration. There's lessons of self-worth and there's lessons that not my monkeys, not my circus, or not my circus, not my monkeys, minding your business. For some of you, definitely there is a lesson out there regards everybody has an opinion about whatever is going on or how the things go. There's no good, no bad. The way you see it, other might not see it. So that also lessens about we are different. We got to respect our differences and so on. So indeed here there is quite a um, few good lessons that are going to be learned. And also I'm speaking, I'm, I'm hearing respect to respect others or to learn or to put other people to respect you for who you are and for who you are becoming. For some of you, whatever feels now stability is going to change over a few months. So indeed here, there's a lot of things for many of you Aries are changing. Could be in regards your stability or how you see yourself stable or whatever means stable and also could be learning certain lessons that are not easy not easy for you not easy for others star judgment queen of pentacles four of pentacles another four here for some of you, there are certain things here around your work that you might want to change or you would like to change. And I feel here that it's kind of like one step at a time or taking one step at a time. For some of you, Certain people might want to come back to you. Healthy boundaries definitely will need to be installed over there. Certain things here that feel like bothers you 
definitely will need it to be changed because movement got to happen. But indeed here, there's a lot, a lot of things that are a knowledge by yourself. I see Aries here for the next six months that are more in tune with themselves, taking care of themselves more, taking care of whatever you take personally, whatever you surrounding with. It's kind of feeling a little more sensible or sensitive over a lot of things. So self-care, whatever you consider self-care, you know, being around better energies or around certain people that are good to you or bring you good energy. I also see here um, a time period that you, you're not going to spend much than what you need. It's kind of like focusing on budgeting, focusing on your finances and budget, you know, accordingly. So indeed here there's a lot of busy work, busy stuff. I also see here some Aries healing certain family traits. Could be ancestor traits, could be family energies regards how money we are considering in our life or how we are save money or how we make money. But also I see here Aries who are want to change their work, but somehow hesitant to do so. I also see here some kind of opportunity for many of you might be out there that definitely you want it, but somehow you feel that that is not quite for you or that's not the right time. The Four of Pentacles, we have King of Swords, we have Three of Swords, Queen of Swords, King of Cups. Many, many of you definitely feel like um, a change out there. The change is more likely what I do and what I want to do next. I also see here Aries who've been in a third party or have been part of certain third parties. You definitely are removing yourself. I see the, the November month very, very strong. And I also see the, um, the month of August very strong for many of you in regards of cleaning up or clearing out the clutter from your life or sometimes what we want might not be necessarily good. Also, speaking of those who've been in third parties, you, you will learn quite a um, valuable lesson that if someone is not happy in their relationship, they always can jump and find something you don't want to be part of an uh, option for someone. So that's a very strong lesson for some of you. And also I see here, if you try to help someone to reconcile with another person, it's kind of, you will realize that you can help, but if someone doesn't want to help themselves, it's pointless to go further or to put yourself into that situation. Even you care so much or you, you care for that couple or for that person. The Queen of Pentacles, Four of Swords, World, Six of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, and the Tower. 
definitely I see a big revision or revising a lot of things. What makes you happy? What do you want to keep around you? What you want to close off? Definitely I see certain doors are closing for good for many of you in regard to certain people who most likely doesn't deserve you or doesn't serve you at your best. As well, I definitely see here money-wise for many of you, you definitely put more effort and I definitely see here a good increase financially and feels here for some of you there is a there is a job or there is a breakthrough somewhere where you put your effort financial wise so definitely there is a great increase financial for many many of you however i feel here for many many areas you might not see that increase for some reason and for I see an Aries who definitely if you if you struggle somehow financially this increase will give you the opportunity either to purchase a car either to purchase a home or put a down payment there's something here that I I I could not see this coming but if it's coming here it is for others of you if you don't want to buy something this will give you opportunity to to go to school or to go to continue education so definitely whatever you do by the end of the year or in over this six months is a lot many many of you especially you you will switch into different things that you never done before for example if you if you have a great job, you might switch to learn certain new skills or skills that you you never thought you are inspired to do or passionate to do. You you could find you are passionate to to astrology. Others of you might be I'm finding that I'm passionate to to psychology or some some kind of passion for some of you could start painting or molding or pottery there is some kind of skill it's coming out there it's natural for many many of you but you never thought you will be so passionate and for some of you you definitely will find healing in doing this passionate energy or finding this new hobby into your life which is beautiful one more message here for you, Aries. Queen of Cups. Wheel of Fortune. Moon. Do not be afraid to move forward. The universe is guiding you. Allow this movement forward. No matter what. Because I definitely see here for some of you, you might feel yourself close off for certain things. But always, always be open to whatever it is. Don't doubt your choices. Is this a good one or not? The full moon, the new moon and the full moon, the new moon in Sag and full moon in uh, Gemini at the end of the year will be very very strong for many many areas and I definitely see here some decisions will hurt but definitely will bring you in a higher vibration probably one of the highest vibration you ever could be and I feel here for some of you as we speak now whatever you do in this six months for the next three years will show up big results and indeed here I'm speaking I might speak here with a single Aries as I'm getting the um, the singleness energy but also I might speak here with an Aries who raising their vibration in more being more confident and seeing themselves that they can do whatever they going through which that is quite beautiful one advice from our Denise Lynn 
oracles infinite abundance abundance is pouring into your life so definitely i see for many many of you a great increase financially especially for others of you i definitely see new new connections new people in your life i feel here also for some of you it's like your your life it's at a um, crossroads whatever you do do it make it and don't stop underneath we have expand your horizons definitely it's kind of like be ready for new things to come out there a lot a lot of things will change and you definitely got to be ready for that that being said Aries that's what I have for you for this next six months I hope this really speaks to you if it does let us know blessings loves and enjoy Namaste.